Well, our congrats and uh, welcome back to the 33rd team for the sixth set of twins drafted into the National Football League. I would be talking about Sydney and Chase Brown. Guys, congrats to you both. Um, you look a little bit more relaxed than when I last saw you. Not as tense, a little, <laughs> little looser. You think so? You think right. So? <laughs> Chase, you feeling a little bit more relaxed? A lot more relaxed. A lot more relaxed. We know where we're going now. We, we have a place to call home. You do. You both have places to call home. Uh, Sid, you're going to digs that I know pretty well. I lived and worked in Philly for years. Did and, you really? Uh, I did. 66 pick by the Philadelphia Eagles. Take, take me back to that moment when that phone rang for you and what it was like. Well, it was, I'll tell you what. So we had, we had a nice little venue with our family and stuff and it ended up being a lot more people than I expected to be. So the pressure was on just from that on its own. Right. So you just, you're staring at the screen, you're waiting to, you're just watching the draft. There was a safety slide too. I don't think there's a safety draft until the second round. Right. So we were just kind of counting them down and, uh, when we got into the third round, I knew the Eagles was a team that had interest in me. And uh, I got a text from my agent that said, let's go. And I, I was like, okay, what's up? What's going on? Like, what, 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 what do you have for me? And he said, you're getting drafted by the Eagles. And I said, you are kidding me. And I guess probably two minutes after that, I got the call from Howie and the rest is history. What did Howie say? He said, you ready to be an Eagle? And... I, uh, <laughs> some profanity and, uh, yeah, it's fucking ready to go. <laughs> Chase, what was that like for you watching this play out for Sid? It was exciting. I knew he was going to go at some point, uh, you know, all the work that he's put in up to this point, just seeing it all pay off in that moment and, you know, his emotion, his face. And, uh, you know, I could just tell that there's just a rush of energy that, is unlike no other and he was extremely excited and i was, I was so happy for him mm. all right so what do you what do you know about philadelphia because uh i'm sure you know the fans are passionate i i can certainly tell yeah. you that but what do you know about philly i mean other than the championship program and the amazing fan base uh i know nothing so i'm going to uh, lands i've never explored in my life and it's gonna be uh, interesting it's gonna be a new situation it's gonna be cool to to see how it goes, and um, Philly is what I'm going to call home now. There you go. Well, I'll tell you what. They they love gritty players. They love humble players. And uh, make it your home, and they'll love you forever. That would be my advice, uh, having having lived and uh, covered the Eagles. Uh, Chase, so you're, you're still sitting there. You're psyched for Sid, and you're waiting. So take me into what it was like as you're sitting there watching, and then you find out, boom, it's going to be Cincinnati. Yeah, I mean, I don't even want to reflect on how I was feeling after um, <laughs> after Friday night. I was stressed. I couldn't sleep. Um, yeah, and then, you know, I waited about 100 picks later until I got selected, but it, it all paid off. You know, it doesn't really matter where you go. It's all about what you do once you get there, right? And, you know, I'm just grateful for this opportunity and – um, you know, aside of that, just going to a great football team that has great ownership, great coaches, great players. And, you know, I'm just trying to add to the culture and um, the culture and, you know, what they already have going on there. Like they, they have they're in the right direction. And I, I'm, I'm honored to be a part of that. Yeah. What was the phone call like? I, I didn't even I could I was a, I couldn't even say word. I was a loss of words. So um, <laughs> it was emotional. Uh, I was pretty stressed out, but, you know, I got as the right plan for everybody and, you know, just got to trust that and know that, you know, you're in the right position, you're in the right place. Just focus on where your feet are and, you know, you'll make the, the most of that opportunity. Mm, indeed. Uh, Sid, what was it like kind of watching Chase wait and then seeing him get that call? <laughs> yeah, it was just as stressful for myself. Uh, you know, I've, I've never wanted something so badly for someone, for him uh, in my life. So uh, just kind of watching it and, you know, I, obviously not feeling the same emotion, but the stress, the pressure, uh, you know, the want to uh, just to be selected. I, I wanted it just as badly as him. So um, I, I was just so thankful when I, when I saw the, the phone go up to his ear and 
Um, you know, I, I, I knew it was something that he was going to be emotional about. And, you know, it, it, it worked out for the right reason. And there, there's, I'm just, I'm proud of him. What would mom say to you guys? I actually well, don't even remember what mom said, but I know she was proud. I know she was proud. Yeah, mom she, really uh, yeah, my mom was pretty emotional as well. Hard not to she, be, right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Especially with the journey and everything as well. She just, she wanted it so badly for us. And <laughs> I swear to God, my nan and my mom probably paid attention to every single mock draft there is on the internet. And they all had ideas of where we were going to go and how it was going to lay out and what player was going to go here. And you should have heard my grandma throughout the first and second round, first, second, third, all the way throughout the draft. She's like, oh, my God, I can't believe that player went there. Oh, I knew he was going to go there. So it was, it was interesting to see and listen to that throughout, too. Yeah, Nan's, Nan's a GM. Nan's an NFL GM. Yeah, I, I don't swear, know where. I he's, swear. It's crazy. He's a general manager somewhere. I, uh, I was actually just over at the house. I, I stopped at my grandma's place because I'm here in London right now. And uh, she had the NFL network on. And I'm telling you, it's every morning. She watches She watches it all. I, mean, I swear. <laughs> You're going to go home and she's going to be like, all right, look, like this is what you should be working on. Here's the comp. Like She's going to have it all down for you guys. Yeah. yeah, the yeah she's gonna, she, right. She's actually going to start breaking down her training, I think. Too, right <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm watching film with her yeah. on Monday. Mondays. <laughs> Hey, Sid, I did see that one person made a comp for you saying you're the next coming of Brian Dawkins. No. Did you see that one? (laughs) I did. I did. And I tried to actually hide it from myself. (laughs) I tried to push it down my media feed. Uh, I mean, what an amazing comparison for sure. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of work to go before I'm a caliber player like that. And, you know, obviously he's one of the best to ever do it. So. Um, you know, I, I hope I have the opportunity to say that I uh, was able to do what he did. Mm. He's also one of the best people you'll ever meet. I've had a chance to get to know Brian over the years, so uh, I, I would add that encouragement as well. Um, ha- have you guys thought about, like, do you have a number yet? Do you still get to pick numbers? Do you have them yet? As of right now, I'm wearing number 30. Sid? And I've got, yeah, I got handed 43. All right, all right. So, yep. so... Chase, how do how does uh, Sid feel about his number and vice versa? Are, are you rolling with him? Yeah, you know what? So listen, I my my history with thirty when I got to Illinois was I they, they, I don't think they thought I was going to be a productive player, and I just made thirty my own. I was like, okay, it doesn't it doesn't matter what my number is at all. All that matters is what I do on the field. So I'm going to just kind of take that mentality again. And, you know, you make the number, you make the number what it is. It doesn't matter. Do I be wearing number sixty one? It just, it, I can make 61 look pretty damn cool if I get 10 interceptions and 24 tackles for loss in a season, right? So um, it's all about what you do with the number. And uh, sorry, I thought my dog was going to go to the bathroom there. But uh, yeah. <laughs> really? The dog's name is my dog's, Louis? my dog's roaming Louis. around. It's, he's going crazy. <laughs> what kind of uh, dog is Louie? It's a Yorkie. Louie. Louie. <laughs> We're trying to have Louie come say hi. He'll work his way here. Chase, you go ahead and talk about it. (laughs) Chase, you feel like you can rock any number two? Yeah, I think Sid made a really good point there. The number doesn't defy you. It's what you do once you get there and the work that you put there is Louie. (laughs) Hi, Louie. Oh, my gosh. So cute. What's up, guys? Say hi. (laughs) (laughs) You go now. I love love the Louie cameo. Um... All right, so the number doesn't define you. I love that. I think it's so smart. It's what you do out there that does. Um, what What do you each expect to see each other do, right? Like, as you get out there. I, like, Sid, I want to hear what you think Chase is going to do joining this Cincinnati team and then vice versa. Well, you got a highly motivated player that is probably one of the most talented running backs in this class. You know, you got uh, – the work ethic and the mental drive that he carries with himself on a day-to-day basis is it's it's hard to match so you know i think he's going to add immediate value to the team just based off of that um not only that but you, you got a you got one damn good football player there too that uh i think could be extremely productive there with mixon so 
I'm, I'm excited for him. It's, a, it's an opportunity for him to go show uh, what Canada's about and uh, kind of what our, our Brown boys can do. So, uh, I'm, again, I expect the best out of him, and I know he expects the best out of himself as well. Likewise, I think Sid, Sid's going into a championship-level defense where he's going to add value to what they have going on there. Um, I mean, he's productive. He does his job to the best of his ability. And on top of that, he's an extremely uh, hard worker and, you know, highly motivated. So I'm, I'm excited for him, high expectations, and um, I know he'll do well there. Have either of you heard from any of your new teammates yet? Yeah, a couple. Uh, I've heard. Yeah, you go ahead, Chase. Chase, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, no, I said I've heard from Joe Mixon and you know a couple other players, and they just reached out and just welcoming me, and just introducing themselves before I get there. Kind of cool. Sweet. Sid, what about you? Yeah, just one. I've I've heard from Jalen Hurst and then the the rest of the coaching staff. So it's uh, <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> You couldn't That's wait funny. to say that. <laughs> no, I'm kind of... <laughs> oh, my goodness. I think I'm hey, hey, <laughs> right? Like, you do have to pinch yourself a little bit, though, right? Like, these are your new teams. Yeah, I mean, you right. I mean, you got you got you got players that have done amazing things in the league, right? And you got an opportunity to do the same. It's awesome. Nothing. It's awesome. Have Have you uh, spent any time looking at those uh, mocked up unis of you guys in your in your new? New dress. Yeah, pretty yeah, cool. yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I can't wait. It's gonna be yeah. cool to kind of put that together. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Overall, I mean, oh, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, my bad. My bad. What's no, that? Joe, go for it. No, no, it's it's cool because you can't really envision it. But it, I mean, we had I think Illinois football put a couple of things together for us, which looked pretty neat. Chase running the rock with the all black Bengals jerseys and stuff. Uh, Chase. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you guys think about that? Because you'll be in different places, right? So, like, this is kind of a first. And I'm sure, like, there's going to be a lot of this going on, like, Zooms between the two of you, FaceTime, whatnot, like, just catching yeah. up. But you're also both going to teams that have been there of late, like, Super Bowl caliber teams, which is pretty cool when you think about it, that you're both joining programs of that caliber. Have you put any thought right. into that? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I put it. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 all about what we can do and what we can add, right? Uh, I think the I think the best thing we can do is just compete. You know, help help the team in any way we can. And at the end of the day, if you're competing at your best and being the best version of yourself, um, I mean, good things are going to happen, not only for yourself but your teammates as well. Chase, what about you? And that's a that's a. I was going on the same track. It's just. You're going into a team that has high expectations of everybody and, you know, just buying into what they're selling and trusting what they have going on is, you know, exactly what I'm going to do. And, you know, alongside that, just work extremely hard and, you know, show show value every single day. All right. So you think about first purchase, first big <laughs> purchase you might make. Sid, you tell me what you think Chase's <laughs> might be, and then Chase, you tell me what you think. <clears throat> we'll say it. I'll say that we'll say it at the same time because we already know what it's going to be. Okay? <laughs> All right, ready? Said three. All right. Three, two, one. Car. Car. Yeah. 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 What kind of car? Do yeah. we know what kind of car? No I mean, idea yet, but it could something be... something to get me from point A to point something, B. Exactly. Uh, I think we start looking at these crazy vehicles when we get to the, the second contract, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's easy. I mean, look, yeah, it's easy to get caught up in these crazy vehicles that they're producing nowadays. You know, Hellcat, <laughs> Hellcat Chase. <laughs> <laughs> that'll suit you in Philly, man. <laughs> oh, I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> so wheels, wheels to get you where you're gonna go. Who had the better dance move to celebrate? Mm, dance move. I'm not. Neither. Neither of us can dance. Dance Crazy. moves to celebrate what? <laughs> Getting drafted. I think oh, I died. No. I had the knee snap going and stuff. I, I thought. I thought. Stop, bro. Chase had. Chase had. 
<laughs> that one right there. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, guys. Oh, All man. right. Good. Whatever. Good times ahead. Good times ahead no, for the Brown absolutely. Twins. Uh, Chase, you head to Cincinnati later this month, right? Yep. May 11th. Sid, what about you? I'm there this weekend. Awesome. Enjoy yep. Philly. Enjoy Cincy. Congrats. And uh, we'll talk to you all soon.